Hey, it's Alex with Lover Fighter Writer, and in this video I'm going to answer the question, will AI writing software replace human writers in 2023? Now, uh, we're just coming up on the end of 2022 here. Uh, it's actually New Year's Eve as I'm recording this, and there was just recently a big new tool and new language model released by OpenAI, which is one of the biggest uh, kind of artificial intelligence, especially for like marketing and business purposes, uh, companies out there. And so it's called uh, GBT 3.5 and the tool that they released for it is called ChatGPT. It's this really, uh, it, it really has popularized the concept of AI writing because they got like over a million uh, users very quickly onto their free tool. Um, and I've got a video where I explain how to get set up with a free account for ChatGPT and uh, how to use it a little bit. Uh, so I'll link that in the description down below. Um, and I'm also in this video going to answer the question, uh, will, will AI writing replace human writers in 2023 or will it ever? And I'm also gonna kind of demonstrate uh, some of the things that you can use AI writing tools for. So here's one of my favorite AI writing tools. It's called Jasper. Um, and this is another one called Phrase. Now they both use GPT-3 or they might have upgraded to GPT-3.5 at this point. I'm not sure if it's happened yet, um, but they will soon if they haven't yet. And um, so they use the same language model uh, via OpenAI's API as ChatGPT, which is this one right here. And it's kind of funny because uh, every time that there's a big advancement in the AI writing field, the same question comes up. And that is, you know, when will it replace writers? How will it re replace writers? Uh, and other things kind of related to that. And so I'm, I'm, I'm happy to admit that this is a huge leap forward in the capability. Uh, this is, whereas in the past, you would have mostly things like, um, templates like this in Jasper where like I can go to for example uh, marketing and I can get a specific tool to write a personal LinkedIn post or I can go to SEO and I can get tools that write uh, meta titles and or uh, yeah like blog titles and descriptions and fill in keywords and things like that so uh, that was kind of the first step of commercial AI writing and uh, you know that people were crazy about that when it first came out and then it kind of moved from there to long form writing tools like this one. Uh, now Jasper has one as well. It's in their documents tab and they also have the chat that I was just displaying earlier um, and phrase actually. Uh, so they have a long form writing tool as well which I'm looking at right here and they also have chat uh, which they recently added which I'm looking at right here and you can also use templates in phrase and they even have a template builder so you can make your own which is my favorite way to use AI writing at this point. I know that chat is huge and revolutionary and it makes it much more accessible because it's just kind of easier to use for beginners but I think that the best way to get the best writing out of uh, an AI is to create your own templates so that it will have uh, samples of your writing as uh, kind of the framework for what it's going to produce. So like to use a uh, to use a template, we can go here. And I'll just go to the copywriting frameworks. So this is like a Aida or a POS framework. And I can come in here and say lover fighter writer and uh, an amazing raw honey from Canadian bees. That seems like it could be a thing. And for the tone of voice, you can put, uh, I'll just go with witty, it's right there already. And then I can choose how many outputs I want right here. And I can just click that button and it's gonna write uh, kind of like a copywriting formula for me right here uh, related to this product. So that's sort of where it all started is with frameworks like that. And you can make much larger, longer, more complex frameworks, or you can make very, very simple frameworks. Uh, and they do a lot of great things. Um, and then they moved on to uh, kind of a, a long form tool, which looks like this. So basically this is phrases long, -torm, long form tool. Uh, I just came in here and uh, put the title in. So how AI writing will evolve after 2022. And then I 
literally just put the cursor right here and I hit this right button and it just wrote all of that for me. So if I click it again, um, it should continue on from where it left off, uh, which it's doing. So it just wrote me another paragraph. And then uh, now we have the chat function, which looks like this with uh, chat GPT, which um, basically you can just give it a command or ask it a question or have a conversation with it. And then you hit the button and it responds. Um, and phrase looks a little bit similar, uh, but it has a few prompts here that you can use because this is like a, you can really use phrase for any kind of writing, but it's mostly geared towards uh, like SEO content writing. Um, so for example, like if this was an article I'm working on here, um, I could just copy this headline and then hit this uh, little prompt and then add the headline to the end and submit this. And now phrases chatbot is going to give me this uh, list of potential headings. And I just hit that button, it fills it in for me. And then I can, you know, there's a variety of different ways I can do this. I could, you know, just turn this into an H2 and then drop this down here and hit write for me again. Or I could use, uh, I have special uh, templates that I've built that are really good for writing blog sections. So you just put in like the title and the subheading, and then it'll give you a, um, a section that you can use in the blog. And so it's a really good way to um, kind of generate content that you can then work from. Um, it's usually faster to kind of like edit and improve existing work than it is to write something from scratch. So that's, that's kind of how I generally use um, AI for content writing just by generating ideas and sometimes generating a rough draft and then uh, changing it, rewriting it, uh, updating it myself. And I also use it a lot for idea generation. Um, like for example here with, uh, like I just asked uh, chat GPT a couple questions about AI writing and it's um, when I asked it, uh, when will AI replace human writers? It kind of gave the same answer that I would give, which is just that um, it, it might eventually, but it's unlikely to happen anytime soon um, because there are just certain things such as like it lists creativity and nuance and also empathy is another one that the AI just is not going to be able to do as well as humans. However, if you don't choose to become a really skilled writer who's good at things like creativity and nuance and empathy, then you might get replaced by a chat or by a, by an AI bot. But um, for most writers who put the work in, it's not going to be an issue, at least not at this point. Um, but above here, uh, when I first started this chat with ChatGPT, I was actually, I was kind of working on a concept for a novel. And uh, I've been writing fiction for a long time, but I'm, I've always been terrible at coming up with names for uh, my characters. So what I did here is I just put in, write a list of possible names for a fictional male Hollywood celebrity. And then uh, another, like just kind of a description of another character asked for a certain type of names. And it gave me a list of potential names for each, which is pretty cool. Over here with Jasper Chat, I actually, uh, uh, another thing that you can use this for, uh, ChatGPT does it really well. It looks like Jasper does it pretty well as, as well, is you can actually get it to demonstrate or to generate uh, code. So that, you know, that kind of just coded a basic HTML homepage for me here. And then I asked it to, just as kind of a joke, I asked it to type try Jasper in binary code and it did. I didn't check that to see if it's correct, but uh, it's pretty cool. Um, and you can use it to generate ideas about almost anything, whether it's a creative project or content writing or copywriting, you can get all kinds of creative ideas from it. So uh, to give a final answer to the question, I guess what I would say is that the only writers who are really at risk of getting replaced by AI writing software right now is people who are beginners, who are not interested in continuing to grow their skill set. Because as long as you learn uh, like marketing strategy and or branding and or how to be like really creative and humorous and uh, empathetic and uh, you know kind of find ways of making things special and unique. Um, if you do one or all of those things in, in addition to increasing and improving your uh, writing skills and your editing skills, I think you're going to be fine. And same thing with writing. Like if you're an author, a creative writer, uh, I don't think that 
you're at risk of being replaced right now, but you definitely could, in most cases, benefit from the assistance of artificial writing assistant. So if you want to uh, check out a free tool, you can check out uh, ChatGPT. Just go to chat.openai.com and you can check it out there. Um, if you want to get a premium tool, uh, the thing, I think the two that I would recommend right now are Jasper and Phrase, as you can see here. Um, Jasper is kind of more of an all-around writer. Uh, it has a ton of built-in templates. It has uh, you know, long-form documents. It has recipes, which are series of inline commands that you can use together. Um, it also has an art upgrade that you can use to create AI-generated images. And of course, it has the chat. Um, Phrase is more specifically for content writing and search engine optimization. And it also has like some, some SEO research tools built into it. But in terms of the writing part, it is a little bit more geared to content writing. Um, however, you can use it to write basically whatever you want. It's just not as, I guess, uh, the interface is sort of designed to be really friendly to content writing. So it's a little bit uh, less applicable to other types of writing, but you can still use it for pretty much anything. Um, and I've got uh, affiliate links in the description for both of those if you wanna try them out and you happen to use those links, I would really appreciate it. And um, I also will link to an article on my blog where I uh, list some of my favorite AI writing tools and uh, just kind of you know give a case for why each one might be the best for you. Um, these are my two favorites, but they're both somewhat expensive. I don't think that they're anywhere close to being um, unreasonable based on the value they provide, but um, they are a little bit expensive. So if you if you want something like with a lifetime deal, for example, or that's a little bit lower budget, um, there are uh, a number of options listed there with a variety of price ranges and payment plans. And then if you just want a free one, then like I said, there's ChatGPT at chat.openai.com and uh, check out my my kind of beginner tutorial video for ChatGPT if you wanna do that. Um, and uh, I show you how to sign up for a free account here and kind of get started with this tool. Uh, so anyways, that's my prediction for 2023. I don't think that we're gonna see, you know, copywriters or content writers or authors getting replaced en masse by, um, by robots. Uh, in the new year, and I don't think it's necessarily going to happen for a while yet. I think we need to go through um, a number, like I said, there's kind of like a big jump in how the technology works once in a while, and I think we'll have to go through at least a few more big jumps like that before uh, writers are really at risk of getting replaced. But as I said earlier, um, they are an incredibly useful tool, especially when you, use, when you learn to use them well. You can use it to improve and enhance your creativity and you can use it to speed up the research and the ideation process and you can use it to uh, really increase your content and copy output when you need to all right so that is uh where i'm going to wrap it up thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next video